Hi, my name is Roland and on my property we have a lot uh, going on with uh, renewable energy and battery storage. And today I want to speak about a topic which is discussed uh, nowadays on many channels. And this is about when you build your pack, do you build a pack by paralleling cell groups or would you make uh, separate individual strings, each string uh, protected by its own BMS, but always use uh, just maybe one cell uh, in series, one cell, one cell, one cell uh, for your string. So it's about, let's say, this pack being a 16S 3P, or should it be a three times 16s 1p what would be better to answer this question there's one very important thing to mention and that is the battery chemistry in my opinion it is the most biggest factor why you have to actually consider to split a pack or not to split a pack if you use a lithium ion standard chemistry like you are taking a laptop batteries or whatever lithium polymer uh, pouch cells something like this also probably NMC chemistry there is a big advantage of going separate strings and the reason there is safety and that lithium ion chemistry is by nature less safe than this chemistry here which is lithium ion phosphate and I will explain you uh, why that is. So many of you uh, have heard or know it by some experience. Standard lithium ion chemistry is very volatile. You have to be extremely careful with overcharging, over discharging. The cells can, if they get misused, catch fire. As well, when they're aging, you have these so-called dendroids growing inside the batteries they can shorten and this is a much bigger issue on lithium ion standard chemistry than on lithium ion phosphate lithium ion phosphate if you abuse this sort of cells they will typically show abuse in a degradation of the cell capacity if you over discharge this pack let's say you make a mistake you get this down to one and a half volts per cell when you charge this up next time you might have lost 20 percent of capacity but there is no danger of catching fire similar to lithium ion standard and inside of this chemistry you have heard there's processes called resting ions are moving they are interested to actually reach a different state once you release them from charging or discharging and all these movements do not exist in lithium ion standard you can improve your safety by splitting up lithium ion standard cells into several strings because if you have one damaged cell or one uh, shortened cell they will usually they are called heaters they have internal shorts they are heating up and drawing the pack down right if so if you have cells many cells in parallel to a heater cell that cell group will actually discharge via that one heater cell so all your pack will get disabled that way but if you split it up in many uh, strings you will lose that one string and the other ones will still operate uh, as they should lithium ion phosphate chemistry is the exact opposite because there is no safety issue but so many internal processes going on they love to be paralleled because they keep all these movements all these internal flow of balancing currents 
inside of that cell group which keeps them absolutely stable so you increase the stability immensely if you put these cells in parallel and this of course also have advantages it's much cheaper you only need one BMS the system is much more simple lysium ion phosphate cells are simple cells they like sim simplicity and you have to understand this there's a big big difference between chemistries and this chemistry needs to be paralleled so now somebody could say okay but what if I have a problem in this I lose the whole pack if redundancy is your main objective you have to you can split up of course a pack if you lose one part you will lose not the whole system but in that case it's also important to have probably more than two strings right so if you have like in this case at least three strings or then better four or five because if you lose one string you don't want to lose 50 percent of uh, your system as well uh, in case of redundancy you want to probably be still able to run a full capacity so with the lithium ion phosphate pack especially when the cells are getting older more uneven and used paralleling will also help them to mixing up those cells you're creating a more equal setup that's why in, in my case also I don't bother about balancing or anything like this this is just because uh, these cells are uh, paralleled and they can take care of themselves like that the best they want what would I do uh, if uh, I would expand this pack let's say I make this again here another 15 kilowatt hours how would I do that would I make a second pack or would I take this apart and uh, take more cells in parallel yes I would I would exactly do that I would remove all these bus bars I would make uh, extra cells here and then the upgraded pack would be a 6p 16s pack and that would be amazingly a stable functioning system then but that is a project for the future of course I would say for the t for the moment this is uh, already enough I want to tell you but uh, we can start a discussion and if you have uh, any inputs any different uh, experiences please write it down in your com in the comments and we can follow up on this if it's necessary primary takeaway on this is what is your chemistry of your pack is it better to go for many individual strings because of safety or is it better to just make parallel cells uh, because you're increasing stability and that is uh, the difference between lithium ion standard and lithium ion phosphate you should keep that in mind so thank you for watching please comment subscribe like the videos and i see you uh, next time